Hi, it's Andrew here from mycampertrailer.com.au and I'm here with Jason from Aussie J Campers down in uh, Victoria, Melbourne and uh, we're looking here at the 12 foot tent that they have that comes with their um, with their campers and so um, Jason, tell us a little bit about the um, the 12 foot tent. Okay, 12 foot tent. 12 foot's the biggest biggest model we have um, but it's fully erect and set up. It's actually 15 foot by 17 foot but the classification is 12 foot which is what most companies work on. So with our 12 foot tent, it comes with the annex. Yep. Um, it's all 15 ounce canvas, Australian spec canvas. Yep. Um, with the annex, it comes with all the annex sides. Yep. A PVC woven floor, uh, which all Velcro's in. The corners of the annex are actually Velcro and zip. Cool. Uh, yeah, so they're nice and strong. Uh, and so you can actually shut this room off as an upper living area or as an eating area, whatever you prefer. Um, you don't have to put up all three walls, you can just put up a single wall, which a lot of people do, especially in their cooking area, which we'll get to a little later on. That's just a matter of setting up, wetting them down once or twice in a day, or even just leaving them up for a couple of nights in the backyard, letting the, the dew um, get to them, let them dry out so the canvas settles. So we, with our 12 foot, we have um, all the windows all on the main section are all double flaps, so that means it's got flaps on the inside and outside. Excellent. Um, the outside flaps have their own rain hoods, so if you don't have the annex set up or the, the windows on the other side, you don't get any water laying in your rolls or canvas, tree sat or, or leaves or anything like that sitting in there and starting to rot your canvas. So they sit nicely under there cool. and, and come with the adjustable straps as well. Midgy mesh. Get the mosquitoes out, yep. and we also have the PVC on the bottom to let the extra bit of light in as well. Cool. Um, and down in the in the corner here, we have a zip for for running your power lead into. Yep. Um, so if you're run, you know caravan site and you're running a lead in, or even off a generator, you can run it in through there. Cool. Um, awesome. So let's go back up this end. Yes. So up this end here, this is the, uh, the back skirt that you put on if you're actually closing this whole area off. Um, with this back skirt on you can actually open it up yep. and roll it up and this is where your where your tailgate would be for your kitchen. Cool. So um, normally if you're just setting this room up as it is now, you wouldn't put this skirt on, you wouldn't bother. So you can actually take that right off and then your tailgate is, is just there. Perfect. So, um, we'll put that aside. Um, also with our Enix, it's all freestanding so it doesn't actually need ropes. Yep. Um, and that's why it has the extra poles that it has. A lot of companies have socks here, which is what happens is that the poles actually push into the sock, but what it's quite difficult to actually get the hooks in because you can't see. Yep. So we actually have this flap design so it's nice and easy for the customer to hook the hook in and put the poles up. Excellent. So it's just some uh, little feature that we sort of looked at. Full Velcro on the bottom of the windows. Yep. So when they close down, um, instead of just little bits of Velcro. Also around the back here, the, the back window can be set up like this to let air in even if it is raining, especially places like North Queensland and, and places that are, are really humid. But if you do want to roll it up, it's just a matter of zipping the sides off and you can actually roll it up. Too easy. Comes with the, the poles as well. Yep. Um, and the eyelets where that just sits in like that and a couple of ropes and, and off you go. So it's another sort of added thing that we put on the tent as well. No problem, let's go have a check out inside. Yeah. So a nice big doorway. It's a double doorway. Yep, all the way through, yeah, gets the, the air all the way through. And the reason for that is that there is an extra room, um, not only with the 12 foot tent, but also with the 9 foot tent that you can get that goes on, on the back side here, which is what they class as a kid's room. Cool. So we'll go through that and I'll show you the fix, fixtures of that a little bit later. Um, so main bed, inner spring mattress. Yep. Underneath the inner spring mattress, we do have the two access doors. Excellent. So obviously that would be into your trailer there. Yep. We do have upgrades where you can put gas struts on these and we actually fit them off so that the both of them actually stay up together. So, Excellent. Um, and those gas struts are actually designed to, to hold not only the weight of the mattress but also the weight of your, your bedding in it as well. So, Excellent. So in the bedroom area here, 
once again double flat window so if it does start to rain you can just wind up the inside uh, canvas nice and instead easy. of yeah having to go outside and you've got just some storage pockets and stuff like that um, the, the, the pole setup here is nice and easy it's a push button system so no need to sort of t turn turn buckles on these sections yep it's also got the extra spreader bars for down, for down there it doesn't really need it but if you like this tent set up full time so we just put it up anyway so it just gives it that extra sort of taunt feel to it yeah okay cool so uh into the main part of the um yeah the main part okay so to separate the main part to to the bedding yep. we've got this uh separation privacy area um some people don't like this if they're claustrophobic um because you can actually shut it right off so if you don't like it you can actually zip it down and put it underneath the bed and that opens up right up so but if you do like your privacy from the kids or <laughs> cut yourself off from the noise you can close this off and, and, and you're nice and private in there cool um it comes with the aluminium ladder the ladder comes in, in its own carry bag as well yep and then we have the two two side pockets these are handy especially on our on our big red um you can get access to your jerry cans or your gas bottles or if if you have a storage box you can get access to those as well um as these open up as well not only that, but especially in summertime, it's nice to open these right up and let the air flow right through the tent. You always get that nice breeze underneath the trailer, so it's good for that as well. Nice. Cool. So, so, so these poles here, these ones stay permanently set up inside the tent at all times. Yep. So it's just a matter of obviously dropping them down into their pockets, into their extra pockets, yep. and, and, and setting, setting them up to where, where they need to be. So that's for these two here. The setup time on the 12th for 10th, this main section here will, will take you roughly 15, 20 minutes. Obviously first time is always a little bit longer. Yep. Um, compared to the nine foot, which is a, a quick setup, easier wrecked, yep. where this main section takes, it can take under a minute. Yep. Um, so that's the difference, but there's pros and cons um, it just has a lot, lot more room, um, which is good, especially setting up bunks for the kids. Yep. Um, with this one, because of the door configuration, with the bunk set up here, you're not actually um, blocking the doorway to to getting into your bed. Yep. Where the nine foot, because it is a bit shorter, it pushes the bunks up. Yeah. So, so that's the biggest difference. Cool. So, so um, and with both our tents. This, this window here can open right up. You can actually set that up as an awning. Yep. Um, so if you're just staying for a night, especially with a 12 foot, and you don't want to set the annex up, you can actually set that up as an awning and use this as a door. You can come in and out of this way as well, so which is quite handy. Cool, well what I've noticed is that it's really high, like this is a really tall tent. Yes, that's one of the features with this. It's, it's 2.6 meters high, and the reason for that is a greater pitch. Um, we found in the past that when we used other tents that were lower, which was good for someone like myself who's short, uh, easy to set up, but the problem is is that you can get water that pools. And unfortunately when it rains overnight, uh, people get up in the morning and they see the water's been sitting on their canvas and it can actually stretch the canvas. So by having a higher pitch, just allows the water to run off a lot quicker. Excellent. Cool. Uh, thanks, Jason. Is there, is there anything else that we should know about this tent? No, that's probably about it. Excellent. Well, um, I'd just like to thank you again for inviting me down and showing us this awesome tent. It's a great tent, great tent design. And um, I, I, yeah, your customers really love it. Yes, thank you. All right, well, I'm going to sign off. This has been Andrew, and I've been here with uh, Jason from Aussie J Campers. And uh, this has been the 12 foot tent. Thanks again. Bye.